So y'all remember that show, The Acolyte, the one starring Amanda Stenberg? It's canceled. So the decision to cancel it um, was announced just a couple of hours ago, comes about a month after the season ended in July. The power of one, the power of two, the power of many. More like ding dong, the witch is dead. So what happened? Quite simple, really. Nobody watched the dang thing. I'm pretty sure the people who were really watching this were people like me who were just knowingly torturing ourselves. And then, you know, YouTube critics who were making bank off of this show. So this isn't the complete picture I wanted to zoom in so you could really see the line we're talking about, but all of these lines represent different Star Wars Disney Plus shows and also their ratings with each week. The full picture goes up to week 10. We only need to see up until week seven. Now you see that light blue line at the very bottom? That's the acolyte. Let me break this down the best way that I can. So week one is the first two episodes, because remember this premiered with the first two episodes, and that was peak. It never got above that. However, they did enter the top 10, the Nielsen top 10, at number seven. Week two, viewership dips, but they managed to go up into the Nielsen top 10 to number six. But after that, it just fell and never recovered. I mean, argue with the wall, the numbers speak for themselves. Those first two episodes were worse than we thought. So week three is that episode four flashback, the power of one, two, and many. And then we had episode five, episode six, episode seven. None of these episodes made the Nielsen top 10. So four weeks in a row, episodes four, five, six, and seven, they did not make the Nielsen top 10. Now, if you look at week six, which is episode seven, which was that second flashback episode, which was supposed to tie together all those loose ends, viewership went up a little bit. And I imagine viewership went up a little bit because you had a lot of girlies who were obsessed with the pseudo romance that was happening in episode six. But then you get to se episode seven and they just killed that momentum completely killed it, didn't realize what they had, and gave us another crappy flashback episode. So momentum dipped a little bit going into episode eight, but oddly enough, episode eight made the Nielsen top 10 at number 10. It takes several weeks for the numbers to come out for, you know, each week. So the numbers for week seven, episode eight of The Acolyte, we got those numbers last Thursday. A $180 million project down the drain. And they deserve it. They deserve this loss. Never mind the fact that it was an absolute crap fest of a show, but this is what happens when you insult, disrespect, and abandon your core audience before the show even starts. But for what we spend on Disney+, Plus, we deserve quality. This was not quality. I'm anxious to hear what other Star Wars fans are going to do. Are we just going to pretend like the show never happened? Like we're just dismissing it from canon altogether?